Hello everyone, it's Jane from South Park Creative, or AJ, or whatever you want to call me. So, here is another sufficiently awkward art haul. Or hopefully not, I'm just kidding. It's where I talk about the things that I got. I don't know, I, I really don't understand entirely the, the whole nature of the art haul, other than to just show you what I got, and that's all that it is to it. So, I just wanted to record this while I still had the gusto. I just got back from um, a local art store here in the city, and I love this place, and there are two local art stores that I go to, and I like to support them, although I do shop at chains sometimes. So, these two um, are the acrylic colors from Cheap. I've never heard of this particular brand before, and I've Never used them but I had to have these colors I don't know I was just something about them but uh, I do like the idea of the little chickadee and that's really really cute and clever so uh, for three bucks you can't beat it uh, obviously Liquitex basics um, primary blue I thought these would actually go really well together with some mixing mediums or something um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do with them just yet but I have a vision sort of kind of it's in my head anyways uh, lots of paint this time around um, I got these at Michael's. Uh, they were two for one, so two for five bucks for Windsor & Newton Galleria. Acrylic is pretty awesome. Um, the mixing white, I've never used this particular white before, so I'm really excited to see how that works. And um, I really, I actually, I really love the, uh, the consistency of this particular paint. So moving on, um, this was on sale too at Michael's. This is actually, um, I didn't shop all this in one day, I'm going to be honest, it's like uh, two or three trips between like the last two weeks at different places. So um, this was on sale at Michael's, I think it was 30% off, so you can never have enough light portrait pink if you really like to do portraits. So I figured that was a good enough value, and I love the heavy body, that's awesome. Okay, so moving on, um, I really love Holbein, all of you who know me love, I know you know, you know, I know. Blah, 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 blah. Um, I love Holbein. I love the Holbein gouache. This particular gouache is actually acrylic gouache, which is different from their um, artist gouache, which is rewettable. But this particular gouache has a um, acrylic pom polymer in it, and um, so that's the binder. So once it dries, it's actually kind of a matte finish, and it's really good for illustrations. Uh, so I'll be using that in a future particular piece as well. Probably kind of more of a fantasy related deal. So moving on, um, so this is going to be a future, um, this is the theme of a future video is going to be how to buy expensive art supplies on a cheap budget. So here is my nice little schminka broken pastel. So it's a, it's a really pretty shade. I buy them broken because um, normally they're like seven bucks a piece open stock and it's schminka and, and I love schminka but you know that's just that's really expensive but uh, sometimes you, you find some broken ones in the pile for 50% off so you know you're gonna break the pastels anyway so whatever you know um, but that will be um, kind of a tip that I'll use in a future video and so we've got a little variety of colors here from different various brands we've got uh, Sennelier, which I have actually really come to love these guys because it's a honey-based honey based watercolor and so the luminosity of these things is just absolutely gorgeous. So I had bought um, the La Aquarelle um, student set and the Ultramarine was kind of disappointing. So I went ahead and, and just bought this open stock. Um, these were on sale at a store here in the city as well and they uh, the Windsor and Newton Cotman. I'm not really a huge fan of the Cotman, but you know what? For $2.50, um, you can't really beat it. So, you know, I'll use them sometime. And I'm excited to announce that I bought my first Daniel Smith tube of watercolor. And um, I'm really excited because the one of the art stores that previously did not have it has it now. And um, the, one of the um, associates was, they they were showing me um, on the swatch that this is actually like a duotone, and you can't really tell by just the little uh, color swatch right there, but it's going to be kind of a, a grayish burgundy, and it looked absolutely gorgeous, so I'm also excited because <laughs> I'm just excited all over. So I did not know that Daniel Smith made... Um, watercolors with crystals in them. I'm a huge crystal fan. I'm a crystal freak. I collect them. I'm a metaphysicist and so I do psychic readings and I'm really into my crystals. So I'm really excited that they actually have crystals in some of their pigments and there's like amethyst and sodalite and lapis lazuli and I think I'm just going to have to collect them all over time. Uh, open stock. So the big reveal 
I will show you one last thing. Um, I'm excited too because I have this. <laughs> it got wet on the end. I'm not sure what happened there. But uh, this is the Pelican Transparent Watercolors. And this is um, apparently it's new. They're from Germany. And they make some wonderful inks. Drawing inks, fountain pen inks. And check this out. This is so cute. Uh, it's 24 watercolors. And these little guys slide off. Oh, do they? Okay, there we go. They slide off, and then they connect somehow to form. Uh, I think they're supposed to go together somehow. I don't know, I'll figure it out and I'll do a review, but basically these become two little water cups. So you can have one dirty water and one clean water and it saves on your production time so you don't have to stop and get water. And then, open this up, little tray, and you can put your you can mix in here, you can put brushes in there, whatever. And no, it's not compact. That was a big complaint with some people, but uh, I don't really care. So look at that, isn't that cute? I'm excited. And each one of these little um, pans, it actually they pop out if you want to use them individually. And it has the, the name color underneath each pan. And so I think these would be great for people who are looking to travel with a watercolor that's not really super, super small, but not super big. Maybe it can fit to a messenger bag. What I'm going to do is I actually had previously, let's see, how do I do this? Uh, how do I do this? There we go. Okay. So then you pop these back on, which I'll do later. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have a review of the Pelican Transparents versus the Pelican Opaque watercolor, which uh, I've had for a while, and I really enjoy these too. And, um, and to use them in conjunction with each other on a piece. And I'll show you the differences between the opaque watercolor and the transparent and how they work. And so, yeah, there's the big video. That's my art haul this time around. Get it, get it, get it. I'm just being crazy. So I, I just love our supplies, don't you? Okay, thanks for joining me today. I will see you next time. Keep creating, everybody. Love you.